Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Oh, you can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Disney believes they can transform lead into gold by catering to the latest blue checkmark trends. And she Hulk leading star and activist Tatiana Maslany swings for the fences, sharing her experience playing a Hulk, saying that it gave her a deeper insight into people who feel uncomfortable in their own bodies. So now we know that season one is primed to be a nine episode alphabet soup lecture series that'll put you into a coma. Disney doubles down on the identity politics, not yet having learned what get woke, go broke means. Not a problem. We'll teach them. Welcome, Slayer Nation. I hope you're all having a phenomenal day. Once again, we find ourselves in this spot. You know, I wish we could go back to the time where we could geek out when an upcoming superhero show is coming out, where we could be sitting here going, is she Hulk stronger than her cousin Hulk? Can the world's mightiest Avenger Thor take them on both at the same time, fighting one with the left hand and one with the right hand? Instead, we have to deal with Tatiana Maslany confusing what her role is as an actress, believing she's a street activist and a tin penny politician on the grift. She let her inner Brie Larson out to stump for the latest Hollywood cause. Am I saying that I hate white dudes? No. And I'm also saying I don't hate white dudes. And for the third time, I don't hate white dudes. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. Diversity and inclusion have been watchwords for Disney as of late, as the company moves to add all colors of the rainbow to its canvas. The MCU has been an important part of that drive and has seen some incredible growth in the area of representation throughout Phase 4, and will continue with shows like the upcoming She-Hulk. Marvel Studios certainly seems willing and able to be on the front line of this new initiative, as showrunners pen tales including people from all walks of life. From all walks of life. You know, that would actually be interesting if they meant it. But see, every time I hear identity politics or inclusivity or intersectionalism, all I hear is we're having an exclusive party and you're not invited. Maslany can be seen in featurettes for the series wearing a shirt that says support trans futures, a clear sign of her support for the struggle for equality for both the transgender and wider LGBTQ plus communities. You know what's interesting about that? J.K. Rowling has just blown up a story making it global. She had a rallying cry calling all women to defend their rights so they do not get sent back to being second-class citizens and, God forbid, are erased from society completely. See, Shakespeare's Globe Theater in the U.K. is now going to be putting on a new production of the legendary female warrior Joan of Arc. But their character of Joan is going to be non-binary with they-them pronouns. It's unbelievable how much that they are desecrating the female archetype. Aren't they always saying all our little girls around the world, they need these heroes to look up to? Well, I guess they're hypocrites. Why is it always like a big and brassy woman? Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. You went through all the trouble to put on a nice dress? And now you're gonna be rude? Motherfucker! I apologize now. It's like, do you know what your version of a lady is a lot like? A guy. (laughs) You could have stayed a guy if you were gonna be an asshole about it. I know how little it costs me to do something like that. I'm incredibly privileged and I'm very fortunate to have the platform I do. And I'm very supportive of people who are fighting on the ground for LGBTQ rights. That community means a lot to me. And if there's any way that I can continue to voice my allyship, then I'll do it. That's good. But if you want it to be a true ally, Tatiana, what you'll do is you'll go to the Hollywood system using as much power that you have there and you'll tell them, stop strip mining legendary stories. Stop strip mining heroes that have been established for decades. See, people have been reading some of these comic books, some of these stories, some works of literature since they were children. You want to make them your ally, not your enemy. Well, the path you're on, all you're doing is helping drive a wedge, creating division between people instead of creating unity. Now, the rest of the article goes on, and it talks about how Tatiana is saying that She-Hulk also represents women of all varying types of bodies, of all types, suffering from all types of societal ills. It's just more woke stuff. But, you know, woke 
really is nothing more than a temper tantrum in a teapot that historians will one day ridicule. But until that day comes, you keep being the best you that you can possibly be. You get out there, lead by example, and let them hear you roar. We never bow down. We never bend the knee. Firmly define. Step up, stand tall, and get busy living your best life now, always forward.